from Fernley, Nevada. That's where she lives. So, welcome home, sweetie. Hi. Let's hope we can get her a, a bullhead. I'm getting a bite. <laughs> yeah, that debris, that underwater debris like you were saying. Yeah, it's underwater. Mine were bites, so I can feel it when I try to set the hook. All right, Yasmin with the first catch. have gotten bites. There's a bite, yes. If you make sure line goes slack like that again, try to set the hook. Boy, the debris is bad tonight. Is he on there, yes? The bite over here, too. Oh, they're hitting it just running. Here, yes. Like I got one and it was a stick, but I was getting a bite prior to the stick. Well, I got a bite and it just didn't do shit. <laughs> I know I said I was going to use a bigger hook tonight, folks, but I am going to change to a smaller hook because these bites have just been uh, really small. And that, and that might be my problem. I mean, see what, see what that does? It. Because I well, you're not fishing with a hook that big. No. What did you do with a hook that big? They're, the bullhead's mouths are, believe it or not, they're big enough that they would hook in the side of their mouth with no problem. Alright, Grandpa with the fish. Yes, look at that. That's a good sized bullhead there. That's definitely over five inches. Yeah, that's a keeper. I didn't see it. Maybe you got the worms, to, oh, the worms on. If you stop it, I'll let you off. Oh, he got off. <laughs> yeah, I had one and he got off. It looks smaller than yours. Okay, yeah, there's real in, sweetie. Oh, okay. The bullhead. You got it? Hi, it's a baby. Okay, so Yaz caught one and my father in laws caught one. I got tons of bites, so I'm going to be getting one here soon. Wow. What? They're just slamming me, but not hooking. I know. That's down here, too. Oh, it got off. Oh, I saw it. That was a big one, too. Where are they at? Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Oh. What the heck is that? A piece of bark. A hard hit like that, and then I thought I had it, and I'm bringing it in. That's the second time I thought I had one on, and it was a stick. All right, we got one on. What the hell is that? <laughs> Look at that. Get that on camera. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! And that's how small they've been hitting. I'm telling you. That's what that's what's down here. They've wow. They've spawned lately. Yes, they have spawned. Their spawn's over. So the babies are released. Wow. What am I doing wrong? It's smaller than the last one. See, that's what's that. That's what's... 
take all my work. All with three, Yaz with one, and me with nothing at the moment. <laughs> Yasmin had a crawdad. Did she? Yeah. And then it fell back in. That one? No, crawdad. Crawdad. <laughs> Instantly. I'm in the same spot. Another crawdad. <sighs> These guys are kicking my butt tonight. All right, Paul with his third. Nice, man. Yeah, is he having fun bullhead fishing? All right, holding my pole so I can feel when the crawdad's latching on. bigger that time. Nice fish man. So it's going on eight. My father-in-law with five. My daughter has one and I'm still looking for my first one. And with her second one. Alright. Good job yes. So Alright it's going on 840. Paul with five. Yasmin with two. And me still looking for my first one. This should happen sooner or later. Yasmin's having a good time with that. She loves to see her dad get skunked. <laughs> this damn thing. Hey, oh, you got one. Yeah, look at it. Oh, keep it. Put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. Let go. Yeah, he's got your hook. Watch it. Ah. Yes, they'll pinch you. Yeah. Okay, so I really don't count catching crawdads, so I'm not going to count that. I remember one time last year I had a night like this where everyone was catching but me on the canal, and when that when that happens, you just gotta you just gotta find a different hole. Last year I moved down to this spot and I ended up catching a pretty good sized carp at right here. So you know it's just different. Uh, you know, different holes, you know, different uh, banks underneath the water and where the fish are hiding. You just gotta move around and uh, apparently I was in the school of crawdads. Every time I cast, I was getting a crawdad. All right, number six. Yeah. All right, Paul caught number six. If you can't see it from here, apologize. There's a lot of under underwater uh, debris. Not just that surface. Uh oh, looks like we have a dead duck. That's always sad to see. <laughs> That's all I can catch is crawdads. Yeah, so got another crawdad. Trying to get away from them. This is how I used to fish it when I was a kid. I used to... <laughs> Fish right under under the bridge. So tonight the canal has uh, really been a challenge because of the underwater debris, the crawdads. So yeah, it's been a challenge. Uh, but I am starting to get some bites right here. There we go. Finally! Alright, I'm on the board. Paul with six, Yasmin with two, and me with one. Here's YouTube. Uh, I ordered a microphone. Uh, it's a recorder with a microphone. Yeah, I should be getting it tomorrow. So, my problems of you guys hearing me is going to soon be over. So, that's coming. I should have it tomorrow. Just got myself another crowd, Dad. Oh, he knows where the water is. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah, my father-in-law was just saying that his bites have died down, and mine has died down right here. Yasmin's has died down, so I'm the school has moved on. 
or the crawdads have taken over. I do apologize for the quality of this video. It probably wasn't the, my, one of my best uh, works, but uh, we had a good time. I caught one, Yasmin caught two, and Paul has caught six. six. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and have a good one.